Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothes. One of the main things they do is they try to make it so that certain whites and token minorities and Jews and LGBT people seem to be more, you know, decent than other people, right? They try to make it seem that way. That is part of their psychology, part of their treachery. So when we see the depictions of the Joker, what have you, I must caution you to be aware that part of it is part of their game, right? Jigsaw is a central character when it comes to what they're doing, right? The Riddler, Jigsaw, the Joker, right? He's wild, the wild card. And these ideas, as I pointed out in several other videos, are based on gene expressions of the Western governing class. So we see in John 8.34, it says, Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. So why are you all and your descendants on the trajectory and on the verge of being swept up in the storm and marshaled to hell? Because you're on the spectrum of people who are slaves to sin. We see in John 3, where it says people love the darkness, you know, because their deeds were evil. So that was the argument that Christ as a character in the story was making when he was talking to Nicodemus. Okay, in John chapter 3, around verse 19 or so. Okay, and that was before the end. So what has happened since then was that the masses of people have gone to hell and as few people who are in the divine order who were from my bloodline, okay, have gone to heaven. And you can imagine that lots of people don't want to hear that. That's why the word truth, okay, is is scrambled into the word, um, excuse me, the word hurt. Okay, the word hurts is scrambled into the word truths. Okay, because the truth hurts. Okay, the word sin, S-I-N, is N-I-S spelled backwards. And that has the sound of nice, like the word nice. Because if you put things in a way that's nice to everybody and isn't rude, then you're lying. Better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. The masses of people, they're on the broad path. What is the broad path, right? They're outside of the blood line. Okay, the spiritual line. Not the, not the Jew blood line, right? The spiritual line. Which is contrary to the arrogant and racist white European elite and the racist Jewish elite and the racist LGBT elite is the Royal African Falcon top martial arts order not the damn new world right it's a new world order right like it says in the dollar bell it says a secular order novus ordum seculum seculum or something okay which means a new secular a new world a new secular world order is what it's getting at which means they're profane profake that's why there's an illusion on the on the the triangle now i'm not a conspiracy theorist some i just deal in the facts these are the facts that there's an illusion triangle on the triangle right illuminati illusion l u min eight at i min it was a, the patron of chemists where we get the word chemistry in egypt l u min who was also with the scorpion king was he was worshiped along with set illuminati right l u min eight at i okay and it, there's no other way to look at it this is a group that existed that was based on kind of judeo-christian thought which was ultimately derived from kind of african you know thinking right through egypt which was a major trade center, right? The Jews were in Egypt. Abraham went to Egypt. Okay, Joseph, you know, went to Egypt and on and on and on and on. The word Egypt, as the story goes, is in the Bible more than the word Israel. And the Egyptians are described in the Bible as the people of God. Okay, it says, Egypt, my people. Okay, and to the, to the real, right? Israel is real to the real. To the righteous, right? Galatians, right? 328. There's no Jew or Gentile. You're one, one in Christ Jesus. To the real children of God is the inheritance. So when you look at it, you say, well, why is, you might ask that you, you might make the uh, ridiculous claim that, that it's cruel, but God has treated you very fairly. There's generations of you people being hell bent to be evil. Okay, that's what we see. So we see, you know, these spirits like the Riddler right there's serial killers that are similar to that right zodiac killer what have you but it's more specific than that it's more common than that and there's a spectrum of it just like there's a spectrum of racism i'm sure we can all agree not every racist 
is in the Ku Klux Klan. And not everyone with conservative values is a Republican. And so it is with, you know, the fact that everyone who's controlled by the Riddler isn't obviously evil. Okay, the royal family of England, all the politicians, they're controlled by the Riddler spirit, right? This, it's like the Jezebel spirit, so, but it's the Riddler spirit. It's, more, it's a different spirit in a sense, but it overlaps, right? They have overlapping traits, right? Demons are all evil, for example. And the spirit is the dominant principles, prevailing tendencies, dominant characteristics, what have you. So it's the Riddler, the Joker, the Penguin, Jigsaw, okay, Freddy Cougar, Jason Voorhees, they're all based on these spirits of people actually kill people. That's why in, the, in business they make a killing, right? They soft kill and they hard kill, okay? They have kill rates and death rates. They have quotas, right? Look at the, look up the term eugenics, right? How did Francis Galton, the guy who coined the term, who was in a, you know, an elitist through and through, right? He was catering to the elite. He dated the elite. He moved in the educated, you know, snob circles of the elite, he was a highly decorated Mason. He was an elitist. And he said that the purpose of eugenics was to look at the agencies that were already under social control, right? They were already under control of the elite that drastically affect, you know, they improve or impair the racial qualities, what he said, improve or impair the racial qualities so that they could try to create a false order that seems to be ideal, right? Idolatry, right? Idol, 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 and ide ideal, and 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 um, um, idol, ideal. Okay, they have false idols instead of the real uh, ideal. And to the idolater, they might argue that their false idol is the real, and that the other false idols are false idols. And then they would argue the truth, me, the way, the truth, and the life, magically. Isn't that, right? Just sick. So we see that you're all in the spectrums of those spirits. Look at carefully at the screen. Look at the images. Think about what they are in real life. Think about the variations. Think about the average nice homeless person, the average nice old lady, you know, where she's lost in the riddle. She failed to transcend and overcome. Okay, no matter how nice you seem, which is part of the test, right? The willingness to eat food, right? The grass did nothing to you. Or excuse me, the, the, the lettuce did nothing to you. The deer did nothing to you. But you're allowed to eat them according to the Bible, right? So you have to be able to look at things that seem harmless, perhaps, and be in the spirit of marshalling them to hell for rebellion against God. That's why, again, sin, S-I-N is N-I-S spelled backwards, because the righteous are as bold as a lion, not as nice as a deer. There's a difference. The Lord is a warrior. Not a blade of grass. The humans are just compared to grass, right? They're like the grass that perish. The people who don't transcend and become a divine being that's one with God. So you have succumbed. You are in submission to those spirits on the screen and all the other evil spirits. You know, those, those ideas, those are depictions, right? Animus, animation, animus meaning spirit, right? A depiction of a spirit that they believe exists. And in this case, it basically exists in the, in the sense that they're the the gene expressions and the energies and the ideas and the, and the cultures, etc., the principles and the characteristics and the prevailing tendencies and dominant characteristics of the governing class. 